Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to one of my most anticipated games of a long time ago, but also, uh, oh right, I'm trying to adjust my microphone's volume controls instead of my, uh, TVs, whoops. Anyway, welcome to, uh, Odin Sphere, Left Riser, however you pronounce it, I don't know. It's freaking not English, and <laughs> I suck at not English. Uh, I tried Spanish for a while, did not take. Anyway, that's irrelevant. We're gonna be playing Odin Sphere, so this is the HD remake of the PS2 game from... Was it 2006, 2007? It was a long time ago. Might have even even been earlier. But the game was drop dead gorgeous back in the day. Uh, lauded for how how pretty it was. I'm not entirely sure what's going on now. Okay, press buttons. That's probably just the trailer. Uh, I want to do my intro because I don't know what classic mode is going to do. That worries me a little bit, like what the difference is. But I guess I'll just deal with it. But yeah, so it was lauded for being absolutely gorgeous with its hand-painted visuals and animations and stuff. Even if it was a bit of weird, uh, visual design, whatever. And they confirmed that they were doing an HD remake about a year ago. And I've been stoked for it ever since, and then I forgot about it until Keith mentioned that he bought it. And I'm like, oh no. Uh, and now here we are. So, new game. Select a language for the character's voices. Yeah, English. Oh yeah, I think it was fully voice acted too. I'm trying to think of it. <laughs> oh, oh, hold Socrates the cat. Get cat, get cat. There we go. We have cat now. Whiplash cat. All right. Uh, can I sit with the cat? Do I want to view the story archive? Yes. Oh. Okay. This worries me, and also excites me. So I actually have not played this game beyond the first chapter. I played it a long time ago, um, but my save file got deleted, so I more or less couldn't continue with it without starting over, and I really didn't want to do that. So I put it down for ages, and this is the perfect opportunity for me to come back to the game. So do I want to read Valkyrie? Yes. This game is so good. Valkyrie, the soul shines proudly after falling in battle. The birds have a belief. This is the only method of earning an immortal soul. Valkyrie, Prelude, Act 1. Storming Battlefields. Okay, so they didn't really improve the sky texture, which is a bit of a shame. I'm curious what the difference is between classic and non-classic mode. I should probably look that up to see what they've changed. You know, I bet they just had the HD, like, files from back when they made this game. I'm curious how much extra work they had to do to make this game work on modern consoles, you know, as a quote-unquote HD thing. Griselda! <coughs> Gwendolyn. It's so quiet now. The sound of battle seems so far away. It seems I cannot follow my king into the final battle. No, don't give up. Gwendolyn, please take this. I have no use for it now. This spear has slain many foes, making a mountain of corpses. The king... Father... will undoubtedly praise my actions. I'm sure he will. Do I see tears in your eyes? You're too kind, sister. Please, do not cry. Your older sister will leave the world as a great warrior. So dark here. Gwendolyn, I can't see you. <sighs> Griselda, I won't let you be alone for long. I shall be by your side soon enough.
We have lost this battle. There are simply too many enemies. Ha -ha! <laughs> So that is the Shadow Knight. Rumor has it he has made a deal with Halia to acquire such strength. What power? I will face him. Princess? You must not! <sighs> Kill me now. How long do you intend to keep me pinned down? Run away. This battle is over. Any more deaths will just be a waste. Oh, I'm glad to see you're safe. I had feared you were... At this point, I cannot go back. Please, wait. But what good are troops that have lost their leader? All right, we will review the character controls as we advance through the stages. Press that to move, then proceed to the stage nearby. All right, easy enough. How do I... There we go. Okay. Let's climb onto a higher platform by jumping. Oops, there we go. Press X to jump, jump again in midair. Press square to attack. Attack the treasure chest to open it. There we go, we get muddy. And pass through the floor with down and X, and let's go. Hey, this is a battle. All right, let's go... Beat some things up. Controlling Gwendolyn, don't really care. Contu continuous attack by pressing square repeatedly. Oh shit, did I not kill this guy? God, the combat system in this game is so solid. I think you can permanent juggle, honestly, but I don't remember. Anyway. Oh! I can do like a charge attack with this. Press R1 to evade. Okay. Down and square to do a powerful attack. Oh, and I can switch the directions. Okay, holes. Okay. Okay. Let's murder this guy. Whoops. Didn't quite work. Okay, there we go. Rising attack. So well, I don't even need. I don't. I don't even want to commentate over this. I'm just like, I'm a gog with how good this combat system is. Uh, let's see, downward attack. I think they expanded the tutorial, honestly. Let's see. There we go. There we go. So that's how you do the glide attack. There's a lot of attacks in this game. Uh, by the way, these are the same people that made Dragon Crown. Uh, just so you guys know. Okay. I think we're going here. This is the exit, right? Oh, I see. I'm just repeating between rising attacks, down attacks, and everything. Okay, Fosons. Luminous purple energy called Fosons. Magical source appears whenever you defeat an enemy. You will automatically gather Fosons when you're near them, but you can quickly absorb them with uh, holding R1. Okay. Anyway, let's gather what Fozons we have, and go back to beating the tar out of this guy. Okay, I don't want these guys to be guarding on me. Okay, perfect. God, the combat system is so good. Stage complete. Get all the Fozons, and rank S. So we get completion rewards, and so on and so forth. Nice. Let's score. Oh, it, this is how it judges you. Close. Alright. Entry has been added to the text archive. What are Fozons? Fozons. Okay, have you seen motes of light that appear from the body bodies of the fallen? These motes are known as Fozons, light that hold the power of life. Fozons arise from the deaths of living beings and return to the earth to foster new life. Man and beast are given life from this earth, and plants bud and grow fruit. Uh, let's see. Fozons are also called magic elements, and are an indispensable source of magic for sorcerers. However, in order to collect Fosons, one must steal the life force of the dead, originally meant to return to the Earth. We must never forget the weight of this act. Yeah, this is new. This is definitely new. I'm okay with that. Also, we get a mulberry seed. 
Which, how do I pick it up? There we go, down. I think I can also break it too. Tutorials, Seeds and Fozons. You can acquire EXP necessary for leveling up by defeating enemies, but you can gain even more EXP by eating foods such as the mulberry. These foods can be obtained by nurturing seeds, but you need purple Fozons to do so. Let's try growing fruit using the Fozons and the mulberry seed you just obtained. Open the bag. Select the category. Plant. Oh, plant in bulk. The planted seed will grow and bear fruit as it absorbs Fozons. Oh, and I can give Fozons to it. Didn't know I could do that, actually. Do I need to give it any more? Oh, I don't have any more. Oh, that's okay. The seed is grown and born fruit. Eating fruit yields EXP points and level gains. Harvest mulberry. Okay. Oh, I see. There we go. Pick them up. Pick them up. It's a little bit awkward. Kind of wish I automatically picked these things up. Anyway. Uh, seeds, foods. Here we go. Eat. And eat. There we go. Alright. Proactively harvest and eat fruit whenever you obtain seeds and fosons, because your HP and various other stats increase when you level up. This concludes the tutorial for seeds and fosons. Move stages. Okay, so what do we want to do? Oh, difficulty can be changed whenever I want. Uh, so I'm going to stick on normal difficulty because I'm a lazy, lazy person, but not super lazy. I might bump it down to easy. This game can be a bit rough, but we'll figure it out. Gwendolyn, you've returned. I have an announcement, Your Majesty, regarding the invasion. Our troops have been lost. The foes had more reinforcements than we had anticipated. We were forced to enter a battle of attrition. The Valkyries suffered many casualties, including Griselda, our commander. I know of Griselda's fate. Griselda fought bravely for you to the very end. She entrusted me with a spear in her final moments. She was the most gallant and noble of all my warriors. That spear is a special weapon known as a cipher. It collects spirits that haunt battlefields and uses their power to smite enemies. Henceforth, you shall wield the spear as you please. We shall launch another assault on the enemy. I shall personally take part in this battle. Send the troops when you're prepared. Father! Is that all you have to say about Griselda? Words will not bring your sister back. Tis no time for sentimentality. An entry has been added to the text archive. The start of the Cauldron War. We might actually want to look at that. Oh, wait, here we go. The source of conflict between our grand kingdom of Ragnanival, Ragnanival and Ringford lies in the past. Our victory over the mighty nation of Valentine was assured, but costly. Low on men and supplies. We had no choice but to withdraw. These vile fairies seize their chance to invade Valentine and steal our prize, the Cauldron. The Cauldron is an artifact that can create infinite phosons. After all we've sacrificed, such a relic is rightfully ours. Anger at the fairies' treachery, treacherous deed echoed throughout the country. For the sake of our fallen brethren, we vowed to rise again and punish the fairies. Led by King Odin, we have long awaited our revenge. Sharpened our fangs. Princess Griselda and Gwendolyn, daughters of the late queen, are now skilled Valkyries. The time has come for war. We will wreck our vengeance on the fairies and reclaim our cauldron. This memoir shows the mindset of, an Acer, mindset of an Acer soldier. In the battle that occurred after this note, the Acer suffered a crushing defeat that ended with the death of the first princess. So, these lore things weren't there originally in the game. You had to find them afterwards or read them on the, their own. Now they just put them up for you every single time you come across it, and I'm so happy for that. Because I actually didn't know this. Anyway, let's keep going. Oh, whoops. Can I, can I, can I keep, ah, there we go. Do I want to save my progress? Yes. New data. Looks like I got a bunch of save slots. I like that. Okay. So Valkyrie Chapter 1, Act 1, Demon Lord's Castle. Okay, talk. Princess! 
We shall regroup with those able to fight. At the moment, I have four soldiers ready. Just say the word. We only have half the troops we started with. Everyone is rushing to their deaths. Oh, Princess, hear me out. That spear is a magical weapon called a cipher. The dwarves fashion the crystals out of jewels and use them in the weapons. It uses magical elements called fosons and is able to absorb and release them. It will surely lead you to victory. All right. Oh, right, this bastard. What? Griselda's dead because she rushed ahead of the main forces. It's certainly not because I was late to the battle. Lord Brigan. He may be one of our nation's heroes. But I hear he acts as he wishes because my father does nothing to stop him. Yeah, that guy's a big ol' asshole. The queen of the fairies? She was the one who summoned the dragon. That monstrous beast. She truly is evil. That dastardly queen. Okay, same thing. Not my dear princess. That stone on your spear is a jewel from the netherworld. Did you know that? Traveling from this world to the netherworld. It's very dangerous, and only one man is able to do it. King Ogre. If we can obtain that cauldron and fabricate our own jewels, Ragnanovel will have no more enemies. Ragnanovel. There we go. Princess, that was close. I had heard that the Shadow Knight looked like a demon, but he seemed human to me. Why did he let you go? Princess Gwendolyn, I am worried about you. Please stay strong. Thank you, Miras. I shall bring some tea up to your room later. I'm a traveling vendor who has been allowed to sell in this castle. Is there uh, anything you need? Alright, so bye. I've got very little money, however I can buy a healing tonic, not really, or some mulberry seeds. We can farm more of them, but I might as well pick them up. The more levels I get, the better. For obvious reasons. Okay, number of items in possession. You can hold up to 32 items in your bag. This number will increase as you acquire new bags throughout your journey. Furthermore, certain items, such as mulberry seeds, are stored separately, up to nine. Okay. Exit! Let's go let's go to the world map. Let's actually do some real adventuring here. Back to the battlefield. Oh, this game is so good. We're moving out now. Inform the troops. Griselda. So you're going to battle in order to win your father's love. That's not true. I'm fighting for my kingdom and my own pride. I may fall in battle, but that is a fate all our countrymen face. Don't try to hide the truth from me. You seek death so that you may earn the love you so desperately seek. Quiet! I am but a phantom. I represent your innermost thoughts. I am pathetic. I've never been loved since the day I was born. Giving your life for your father will not make your death worthwhile. You will simply die, like Griselda died. Stop it! If I sacrifice myself for my duty, father will surely show his love for me. Surely. Not like you're gonna be around to appreciate it. There's a lot of dialogue though, I will admit. I want to get to the gameplay. Here we are! Head to the Vayner ba base and recapture the cauldron. Vanir? I don't know, anyway. Battle stage! Okay. Let's see if I can continue my. Oh, didn't kill him. Let's see if I can re. Capture at least some of this. Nice thing is I can actually recap, not recapture. Uh, 
I can actually guard breaks. Yes, we know. Uh, I can actually continue my combo chain for at least a little while. It's nice. Okay. Let's grab all the Fozons. I think they last for a while. So what did I get? Rank S. Score rank and rewards. Once you defeat all the enemies, your performance will be scored on a variety of factors, such as your max chain attack, damage received, and length of battle, and so on. Based on the score, you will earn a rank between S and D. Aim for higher ranks since they award more gold. Your current rank will be displayed at the bottom right of the screen during battle. Okay, so we get fair amount of score, uh, completion rewards, S rank bonus. Nice. Okay, close. Ah, yes. And we get a chest. I think I can redo most battles, which is kind of nice. So I've only got four Fozons available. I want to check something. Oh, well, let's eat a Mulberry. Might as well level up, there's no reason why not to. Uh, let's see. Mandragoras? No, seeds. Uh, ripens with six Fozons, so I don't have enough. Okay. I'm not actually... Butterflies. Butterfly has appeared. You can absorb Fozons when you're nearby. Not actually sure if there's... Oh, I see. Plant... Seed and harvest fruit. Well, we might as well mess up all these things as we go by. I love the map system in this game, too. It's actually pretty, um... I don't know. I'm gonna say descriptive. It's very obvious what's going on when you're using it. Okay. I wanted to see if there's, like, an upper spot that we can be at. Okay, I can be up here. I don't know if there's anything particularly fancy. I have left the map. Oh, this is probably just the, uh, the envir environment limitations. Well, anyway, I've got, uh, plant in bulk. There we go. And then it's square to let them loose, right? There we go. So I think there's two left that I can grab. Perfect. I think they improved this system. I could be I could be wrong, but I think they did. I don't think you can destroy these. And I think the plants do rot after a while. Uh, but let's eat in bulk. I don't know if there's actually a bonus for eating in bulk. But they, they have definitely improved system. This isn't just like a, we made the art better. This is a, they actually improved this game substantially, at least in my opinion. Alright, so next up we got another battle battle stage, and ass-kicking for goodness. Okay, this man has a thing that might just be his shoulder. Not shoulder, his shield. I'm a little bit concerned. Ah, fuck. Okay. Trying not to take any damage here while maintaining my uh, my combo multiplayer. Okay, there we go. Let's grab our Fozons. Did we get any other ones? The answer is no. Yeah, the max chain definitely uh, made up for the fact that I took some damage there. I don't know if Fozons disappear, come to think of it. That's a little bit of a... I'm not even going to say a worry, but it's something I'd, I'd like to keep in mind. Okay, uh, Griselda's Spear. New Archive. The Peerless Spear, tipped with the blue cipher. With runes inscribed into the grip, it was, but one right. It has but one rightful wielder, Ragnarvall's first princess, and our champion of the Valkyries, Princess Griselda, with her display of the spear's might for the king, Princess Griselda, boldly won the right to lead the charge of the Valkyries. For we who have spent so long in the shadows of the men, she is the lodestar that guides us through the night. Her young mother is already among the stars, but I am sure. She must be rejoicing in the heavens. Soon, Princess Gwendolyn will be called upon to support her sister. I hope she is worthy of this task. Memorandum of a Valkyrie of the Ragnanival army. This uh, illustrates the adoration of Griselda. After her death, her sister bore the weight of, her, of their expectations. Okay, anyway, we've got... Oh, a mulberry seed. Can't leave that behind. Okay. And let's... We might as well plant another one. Don't want to lose any, but yeah, I believe I can redo the, a number of these, um... Oh, whoops. Unfortunately, this movement system is a bit on the slidey side. Okay, let's grab these back. 
But yeah, I believe I can redo stages as much as I want. Which is helpful. Uh, because it means I can, you know, come back and farm for some experience here and there. I don't know if I get the... I don't know if I get the, um, bonus every single time. Uh, eating in bulk is way, way better. Okay. Anyway, rest. How do I... Oh, I see. If I went through a different door, we'd be going back to that one. Yeah, sh this is fine. Let's let's move to the rest stage. I wonder if I can save here. Options. Sy system. Here we go. System. I can save. Well, actually, you know what? All things considered, we might as well. There's no reason why not to. It's pretty fast. I wonder if I can save during all stages and stuff. It's an interesting question. Well, let's talk to this guy. Princess Gwendolyn. This base is under our control, but the enemy is stronger than we expected. We've entered a deadlock. Okay, there's something here that's glittering. There we are. Figured there's there's something in the ruins here. There might be a couple of things, actually. Looks like we've got another merchant, too. Oops, don't try and kill the merchant. I could charge extra since this is a battlefield. But it's very dangerous. I could have nine lives, and it still wouldn't be enough. Uh, I'll make you a deal. All right, so I got 19 gold. What what can we buy? The answer is area map, map of the area. All right, and then the rest on mulberry seeds. It's not like I'm really using money for anything else anyway. So let's grab these. Map of the area probably is like the whole, uh, the whole zone, chapter, level, whatever you want to call it. For the time being, let's grab our not even ill-gotten gains, but our happily gotten mulberries. And we can use them. Okay. Press this to open up the map. So now we get to see what's going on. So that's the way we would go to the boss. So we should probably actually go back for that other one. A two-star battle uh, with the potion reward. Okay. Well, let's talk to this lady. Orders from the king. Abandon the base and assault the enemy with all our troops. Hurry. Send the order to attack to all the units. I don't really know if there's much of a reason to explore up here. I honestly don't remember, like, any of this stuff. But I might as well do it, seeing as we're here. I am here to report that Lord Brigand's troops shall soon arrive. The General has sent us a message to fight strongly. He's so late. What is he doing? I mean, let's be honest here. Brigand just totally doesn't give a shit. Didn't care one bit. Okay, right. We're gonna we're gonna go back. Okay, so we want to go. It actually shows me on the little map. Like these doors on the map actually matter uh, for going from place to place, which I kind of like. Okay, battle stage. Okay, so let's do that. Nope. You are not going to be able to shoot me with arrows today. This is a no-arrow zone. Perfect. Okay. Any more enemies? Nope. Well, that was fast. That was real fast. Right, let's just skip this. Get completion rewards. We get Cyclone. In a bottle, which I can use in combat. Get a Mulberry and some other things. Beautiful. Alright. Well, that worked out great. And swing over here. Let's check the map, actually, come to think of it. So we got a couple of battle... Is it just me, or did they actually simplify the the uh, battle nodes along the way here? I think they did. Either that, or I, I honestly don't remember. I'd have to I'd have to go back uh, and play the game again. Oh wow! I can save wherever I want. That's awesome. That really makes like a huge difference as far as I'm concerned. Okay, because uh, that that means I can save pretty much at the end of every single uh, map if I want to, or battle, or whenever. I don't know. I, I like games that let me do that. So let's head back here. And you know what? I think this is actually a good stopping point just so I can get this episode out without going too far so I can get this on stream. So for those of you watching this now that would like to watch this live, I will be streaming this game. And, ooh, hello. Small amounts of cash on the ground. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I will be streaming this live because, oh, damn, do I love Odin Sphere. Uh, like, this is truly a game that I, I would enjoy streaming and putting on YouTube and everything like that. So I'm definitely aiming for a full series. Uh, let's see, what's this? Oh. Oh! I can warp between checkpoints. 
if I want to here. That's that's kind of neat. Okay. Well, anyway. Uh, so Odin Sphere, Leftheriser, or however however it's pronounced, Leftheriser. Uh, sixty bucks, which is honestly kind of expensive. Uh, for a HD remake, but at the same time, this game is so solid that it's totally worth the price. If you bought it for PS4 a long time ago, I'd say wait for the sale just because... Oh, not PS4, PS2 a long time ago. I'd say, you know, wait for it to go on sale if you want to re-experience it. Unless you're, like, really bananas for it, uh, like I am. Um, but I personally think it's worth the price if you've never played Odin Sphere before. I think it's an incredibly solid game. It's gorgeous, great music. Uh, I don't know about the writing, but whatever. And it's got some of the more interesting RPG mechanics I've ever seen in a, a side-scrolling action RPG. Uh, I mean, let's be honest here, this combat system is quite solid. Uh, really fun to play. So, I, I personally recommend this if you've got a PS4. Uh, it's super good. I don't know if they're coming out with a PS Vita version. If they are, then that'd actually be pretty good too. Either way though, if you guys like this uh, episode in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know. Turns out my inner thoughts are currently uh, haunting my my battlefield too. Super cute, but also super, super dickish. Anyway, yeah, so if you guys like this in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more, more than you know. And if you want to see more Odin Sphere, oh, hit subscribe, because I'm going to be doing a full playthrough of this one for sure. Uh, all chapters included. I don't know if there's like branching storylines or extra endings, we'll see on that one. Uh, but still. Either way, oh god, I love this game and I can't wait to play more. Uh, but I gotta get this video up on YouTube. Uh, just because. So, I guess with that, I'll see you guys next time, and as always, thanks for watching.